Well, hello YouTube, it's Michelle, and this is my second share for Thursday, December 22nd. I had um, shown a journal earlier that I made using Vintage Parcel, which is a Tsunami Rose collection, and I now am going to share a journal I made using a 9x12 mailing envelope with a giraffe theme. I have a sorority sister whose mom loves giraffes and she wanted um, me to make her a journal and so just finished it and wanted to get it recorded so that I can deliver it this evening or first thing in the morning. So first I'd like to say hi to Sagita and Eva who is a Zibit Girl um, on the YT, their presentation videos are always so fabulous. Sagita always stages her um, her table to look fabulous, and Zibit Girl has this desk or workstation that I just love. So um, I thought I'd jazz up the um, conference room table here with some lace. I've got a couple of journals I've started. This is a cereal box or a cracker box that I've covered with some lace and this one is uh, lace um, and muslin. Uh, just the covers that I plan on filling. So hopefully we'll get those done over the holidays. That's just some fun stuff that I want to do for me. But uh, let me get into the the journal here real quickly. Uh, most of the papers were gifted to me from a girlfriend, Cynthia. Uh, she gave me a rack of handmade papers. Um, I purchased the giraffe paper from the open bins at Hobby Lobby. And so let's get in. It's a, Again, it's a 9 by 12 mailer, so it's 9 this way, 12, uh, 6 this way. And then I've just used, I had this cotton ribbon that I got uh, Paper Studio. Had it was on the sale in the clearance bin, and I've always knew that I'd want to use it on something uh, more natural look versus a silky ribbon look. And so it's been frayed already, and uh, just the brown goes with my theme. The flower here is a tattered floral cut. Uh, this is muslin and some African fabric. And then I've got a rose um, and tulle um, center with eyelash trim. Uh, just got this beautiful brown eyeless trim from a tattered dream that is Denise Sayers' shop. Hey, Denise, so thank you very much for that. Um, the one signature was literally sewn in uh, with my sewing machine, and I've covered the spine using some stash uh, crochet trim. On the back here, just uh, one of my little label tags, and I signed it. So let's get in real quickly. It's pretty late and I want to get this to the young lady. Uh, so when you open it up, uh, this is a petal um, envelope here that just opens up so that she can uh, put a note for her mom there. And again, it's a giraffe theme. So I found one stamp. I have tons of elephant stamps, but no giraffe stamps. So I found one giraffe stamp there. Um, here's a piece of that gifted paper uh, there. And I also received a rack from Karen of some grayish green linen. And so what I've done is run it through Excel. I just put in some gray lines for journaling. There's the giraffe again. And over here is a tuck spot. This is some paper I found. It was um, stationary. That's a gray on one side, craft on the other. And so just love the texture. It's real fun. Um, these were some little giraffe stickers. That's all I could find. Uh, that was giraffe themed, so there's these little stickers are throughout the journal. Um, there's some stamping, um, got some dancers, there's a, uh, the continent of Africa. Uh, here I just have a paper clip with some eyelash trim, and that's just holding that shut, that opens all the way. Some more lined paper here. Uh, we've got a jelly bean bag that has got a little bit of crocheted lace trim, and an uh, eyelash little flourish down here just holding a tag and on this side another dancer and so uh, some more lined paper here is some handmade paper that was also a rack from Cynthia I've got one of my coffee filter 
uh, tattered florals here with some eyelash trim uh, as the center. I've got a 6x9 mailer here, and I've got half of it on one side, and I've got the little scene here from the desert on one side. On the other side, I have another dancer. Here's some craft paper and another one of those little cute giraffes. Um, and the, this, I just love the way that this gray, it's one side and then the um, craft on the other. I made one of my side tuck pockets and this is where I literally sewed the uh, signature in. I just uh, did a running stitch with the sewing machine. I've got some Michaels trim down the center, just a couple of tags in the pockets there. And then uh, that's the center of the signature. So then going on the other side, more of those little, I'm not sure if there were 10 or 8 of these little giraffes, but they're throughout here. Just let this open. Um, back side of the uh, paper, that's the handmade mulberry paper. Got a baggy that looks like it's got a basket weave. There's another one of those little giraffes. Told you I got bunches of them. Um, and then this is a corrugated tab, some more writing paper. This is a fold out here that um, has another one of those drafts and there's some tuck spots there. And uh, more stamping. Uh, there's nothing on the gray sheets. They're plain. Here's the other side of that green mulberry paper. Stamping. There's another one of those drafts. And um, <laughs> Just using those up and the back side of the paper and then the lip of the envelope makes a tuck spot here. I just put two um, file folders here, one in black and one in card and this is a paper clip. I remember uh, Nurse Tara told us about using the paper clips from the dollar store and I made several of the coffee filter uh, tattered floral uh, flowers and used them. Uh, to make these paper clips. So there you have it. It is my giraffe themed um, junk journal. So I hope everybody has a great weekend. Again, happy holidays. Uh, everybody that's celebrating um, this time of year, just uh, blessings to you. Just uh, hope all of us crafters get all of our little projects done before the weekend is over. <laughs> so anyway, thanks so much. Hope everybody has a great evening and I'm sure I'll see you soon. Bye.